for president. This election might be the most consequential of our lifetime. So much is at stake from gun safety laws to immigration policy, clean water and air, whether or not millions of people have access to health care. These issues will be decided in the House of Representatives, to the Senate, dozens of governors' races. State House elections will determine the future of climate change, criminal justice reform, education funding, LGBTQ equality, and even your ability to vote. All of these races and ballot measures are a chance to decide on the direction of our country. Right now, people are turning out in record numbers for early voting, but that's not enough. We urge you to go to the polls by November 6th and make your voice heard. But please don't stop there. Between now and Election Day, there's so much you can do to encourage voter turnout, from texting and phone banking to knocking on doors. Visit thelastweekend.org to get involved. Here's how your vote and your volunteer work will make a huge difference. Voters this year will decide control of the U.S. Congress. Every single seat in the House of Representatives is up for grabs, and control of the House will be decided by flipping just 23 seats, 23 out of 435. Half of the most closely watched House races are in just a handful of states, California, New York, Pennsylvania, Florida, Michigan, New Jersey, and Minnesota. So if you're a voter in one of those places, you have power. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. This is groundbreaking news that I'm going to be presenting right now. Breaking news. This is huge. I know a lot of you are on the edge of your seat. And here it is. Your vote does not count. Can you believe that? earth-shattering news as all we're seeing and all we're hearing is about how celebrities are begging millennials to get out there and vote and that of course for some of you who might not understand why is to keep the illusion that this is a republic to keep the people feeling empowered that way the people don't rise up that way we have a society of people who actually think they're making a difference when in reality they're being goaded along or herded along i should say like sheep telling you get out there your vote makes a difference says taylor swift says oprah winfrey and people go yeah you know what i'm gonna vote today and people out there who don't vote you're stupid you're a problem that's because these people think that the United States of America is a republic. All it is is an experiment. That's what it is. An experiment as they continue to poison us, drug us, enslave us, and then tell you that your vote's going to count. That's why I get a kick out of some people, you know, whether they're YouTubers or it's InfoWars or any of this other stuff that's out there. And everybody's exposing the New World Order. They're exposing, the, you know, whether they're doing the signs and the symbols and stuff like that, like I like to do, or they're doing something, you know, else, right? And they'll tell you that, oh, this person's a Satanist. They'll talk about, you know, trafficking and children. And then they think for whatever reason that your vote actually counts. This is a charade. So we all know what's going to happen, right? All of these celebrities are going to continue to do stuff like this where you know look at some of these articles hollywood celebrities making a push by having a telethon a telethon i still have those things on youtube actors and comedians will appear on a two-hour live stream event targeting the age group least likely to cast a vote they want to make sure millennials feel empowered because they want to make sure that as the next generations go, millennials, kids, and so forth, actually believe that this is still a republic. They need to keep this illusion going. They're noticing more and more people are realizing that this is fake. But this whole thing is just a charade, right? So what will we see? We'll see Democrats and liberals voted in, and then we'll keep getting fed the same stories by CNN and the fake news about how there's so much division in the White House. How Paul is this is just the common theme. I was talking about repetition. What's the common theme when you look at these these news sites? Division in the White House, right? Oh, 
celebrities saying politics have never been worse. Arnold Schwarzenegger saying it's never been more disgusting. Politics, all this stuff. We have a huge problem. We need to do something. We need to bark on change, right? So they'll give us a lot more liberals in the White House, right, to mix with Trump so we can have more conflict and possibly a fake impeachment or whatever else they can do to keep riling people up into believing this show. All it is is a circus. You got a reality TV star as the president of the United States. I mean, what more do you need to know? He's got Linda McMahon, head of the World Wrestling Federation, working in the White House. I mean, the whole thing is just a gigantic joke. And they're pushing this stuff. First of its kind of it, more than 50 actors, comedians, and YouTube stars are going to do a telethon. Stars will not ask for money during a telephone telethon. Instead, they will urge you to call into a celebrity phone bank and pledge to vote the next day. Comedian Chelsea Handler, who left her Netflix show a year ago to focus on activism, said she believes young people expect older and more responsible adults will act to solve problems through government. So now we're getting advice from Chelsea Handler. I mean, really? This is the same woman who's had mo- proud of multiple abortion sacrifices that she's had who's supposed to be a comedian who couldn't be less funny letting you know that she's an activist like you're supposed to care what these celebrities i mean that's just one of the things about how messed up this country is is that we're supposed to care what these people think who serves a better purpose in this world chelsea handler or a plumber chelsea handler or the garbage man we all need the garbage man we all need a plumber Right? They want us to look down on people like that, like what they say doesn't matter. But because Chelsea Handler cracks a few dirty, disgusting jokes on TV that aren't funny, we need to listen to Chelsea Handler tell us to vote. And that just shows you how rooted in mind control our country is. Leonardo DiCaprio letting us know this election night might be the most consequential of our lifetime. He's urging us to all go to the polls and make our voice heard. I'll pass Leonardo. All right, I'm going to take, I'll take the day off. Between now and Election Day, 11-6, visit the last week and get involved. Leonardo DiCaprio, the same guy, you know, a kid on Growing Pains who was on, in the movie Titanic. So important that he actually gets to speak in front of the United Nations, who happens to, of course, be wearing his uh, Kabbalah bracelet. I mean, what a joke all this stuff is. (laughs) 